Hello everyone, Jade here and today I am going to tell you about the ultimate lag fix method using which you will easily be able to get 100 plus FPS in PUBG PC Lite if you are playing on an Intel HD GPU and 60 plus FPS on anything older than that. But keep in mind that the extra frames that you will be getting will come with the cost of degraded graphics. So I will first tell you on how to get those high frames and then I will tell you about certain adjustments that you can make to make the game look a bit better. But before all of that, to those of you who are new, make sure to subscribe to my channel for a lot more gaming and PUBG related content. And also join my discord server full of PUBG Lite players so that you never face any issues while finding teammates. Now let's begin. Ok, so let me repeat that if you want high frames along with high graphics in your low end PC, then this is not the right video for you. So feel free to search anywhere else or probably buy a new graphics card. Now the rest of you who don't care about the graphics, do exactly what I do and you won't face any lag while playing this game forever. For this video, I'll be using a 5th gen Core i3 paired with Intel HD 4000 GPU. Ok, so let's start with the basics. Open the settings option in your game. Now here, click on default and then on apply so as to make sure that we are on the same page. Now the first thing that you need to do is to switch to full screen mode if you are already not and change the resolution to the lowest value possible. For me, it's 1280 by 720 Next, change the overall quality from custom to very low. Then enable lightning and disable the dynamic resolution. Then reduce the screen scale from 100 to 50. Now lowering the screen scale will give you a major boost in FPS but the game will look a lot more pixelated. When everything's done, finally click on apply. Now you can clearly see that we are consistently getting above 100 frames per second in the lobby. And in game, we are always getting above 60 FPS even while recording. And in case we are not, the FPS fluctuates between 80 to 120. Now in case if you are finding it hard to spot enemies, turn off the lightning. This will make the game look a lot less realistic but it'll make it a lot easier for you to spot enemies. Now if you're on an Intel HD system, you don't need to do anything more than this. But if you're playing on a system which is even lower end than an Intel HD, there's one additional thing that you can do in order to get those 60 plus frames. So as you can see that you can reduce the screen scale to a value below 50 from the in-game settings option. So in order to reduce it even more which will help you get those extra frames, open this PC or my computer from your desktop. Then open C drive, users, folder with the username that you have set, then app data. If there is no app data in here, simply click on view and check the hidden items box and you will get the app data folder. Now open local, shadow tracker extra, saved, config, windows no editor and finally double click on game user settings. Now here you just need to change the value of the screen scale from 50 to 30 and then save the file. That's it. This setting will help those really old systems to get 60 plus FPS easily. The game will look really bad but still it'll be a whole lot better than before. I hope this video worked out for you. Do let me know how much of a boost you got after applying these changes. And as always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel for a lot more videos. And I'll see you in my next one. Till then, cheat out.